Hi, my name is Monica Christopher and I work for the Tippecanoe County Partnership for Water Quality. Today we are out here on the Wabash River and we're going to talk about that nasty word, that dirty word, erosion. So where does erosion come from? How was it caused and what do we do about it? Erosion is naturally formed um, and it's also made by the things that we do. We have an impact on the land that in turn goes to the water. So how do we fix that problem? Well, between the wind, between the water, between glaciers, between tilling a farm field to construction that we look at, there are certain things that we can do to help prevent soil erosion. Now, when we lose that soil, we also lose valuable topsoil, and that topsoil isn't very thick, okay? And that's what holds all the nutrients that grow our food, that grows food for our animals, that provides us with uh, living living period from the buildings we live in to the ground we walk on. So it's very important that we save that little bit of soil and keep it where it belongs. Now if you look out over the Wabash River, you're going to see lots of erosion caused by not only water, but there's wind involved in that as well. And you can see along the river that there are different places where people have actually tried to stop that erosion. It could be through a wall built of bricks. It could be through putting stones down, known as riprap. Some people use all kinds of creative measures to make sure that soil stays in place. And that's what we need to do. The biggest thing for us to do is plant vegetation. And when we look at the trees around the area, then we can see those roots that are actually holding that soil in place. And again, that's really important on keeping soil where it belongs. Soil health has always been a concern, and it's been more of a concern since the Great Dust Bowl back in the 1930s. And that's when soil went to the front burner and people started realizing we can't afford to lose that topsoil. And measures were taken through the government to teach people how to keep that soil in place, whether it be growing around, growing around things in your home or doing your farm fields. There are certain things that we can do to make sure that soil stays healthy. Erosion can happen anywhere. Even though it happens naturally, that doesn't mean that it can't happen in your own backyard. Whether you live in the city, whether you live in the rural community, erosion can happen anywhere. And you, as a homeowner or someone that actually lives in a home, if you see erosion around your house, there's there are several things that you can do. Plant flowers, maybe. Plant a tree. Or maybe, depending on the, the severity of it, call someone that knows about about soil because especially if you live along the river you don't want your house washed away. So why is soil health important? Soil health is important because when soil is lost it goes many different places. If you've ever been out on a really windy day and you're driving the roads and you can see soil or dirt flying through the air you know soil erosion is happening. Well where does that soil go? Well your field could end up in the neighbor's field for one, but more importantly, it ends up in our bodies of water. Soil is the number one pollutant by volume here in the state of Indiana. That means we have a whole lot of sediment or soil in our water. A lot of people think that the Wabash River is nasty. It's brown, it's green, it's gray. I've heard so many colors, but the majority of that comes from sedimentation. So if we look across the Wabash River and we see the banks of it, all of that soil, when it's washed away and or blown away, causes water pollution. Now, when you look at water pollution, think of all the creatures that live in our bodies of water. We've got mussels, we have animals, we have aquatic insects, fish, all those things live in the body of water. So when soil starts trapping them and layering them up with soil, they can't breathe. So just so we need to make sure that that soil stays out of the water so they can breathe. 
As a homeowner, another thing that you could do is invest in a rain barrel. Rain barrels help capture the water, and that's especially important for homeowners when we have a dry season. If you've captured that rainwater, you can rain all of your plants um, and keep that water from just shooting off and down the downspout, creating a bare area. The bare areas we don't want in our homes or on our property, in our yard. So we want to make sure that we take care of our, our property. And that rain barrels are just one of the many things that you can do. Plant a rain garden in your yard. If you don't know how to do that, look up how to do that on the TCPW website, TCPWQ website. Plants, vegetation, is very important. And if you look at all the roots on this, or anything, trees, grass, flowers, bushes, and even weeds have all these wonderful roots. And these roots are, are what hold that soil in place. We need to keep these roots right there. This is what keeps the, the soil from going into water. Um, it keeps it in place so it's not landing up in somebody's yard or somebody's cornfield. It's the roots that make it all happen.